Yeah. Howdy, everybody. Oh, man. Last night was terrible watching poor old Florida get nailed by that Hurricane Milton. Uh, the big thing is the power is going to be off, probably going to be off for a long time in certain areas uh, because of the devastation. Not only that, but of course, we've still got power off probably all the way up to Tennessee from the uh, Hurricane Helene. So uh, what I thought about today was maybe uh, try to explain something because I've had a lot of people asking about emergency power, you know, generators, solar, that kind of thing. We've covered that sort of a little bit before, but I thought about these people like in, well, such as in Florida and the folks up there in Tennessee, North Carolina, yeah, and thought about uh, a recommendation as to what they could do in a, in a reasonably small purchase that would get them electrical power that would allow them to do some, you know, to be fairly comfortable. So with all those rules in place, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to show you some different packages, a couple of things. And I'm going to also explain the reason why I'm, say, recommending this over maybe something else. And uh, hopefully, you know, it'll, it'll add some clarity. And if there's somebody there that's, that doesn't, you know, understand or know this technology very well, they can see this and hopefully they'll understand it and say, hey, I can get this and that and I can have electric power at the house and probably have enough power that I need to get by for the time being until the power company gets, you know, gets us hooked back up to the grid sort of thing. So yeah, so that's what we're going to work on today. Yes. And oh, and a giveaway. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you that are not familiar with this type of system, but you're out of power and you're going to be out of power for a long time because you're in a hurricane affected area such as Helene, uh, yeah, or Milton. Uh, we survived uh, Burl on just solar power here at the house and I, I did a show about that a while back, uh, how we were able to, you know, scramble and get everything done and just using solar power to get by day to day till the power grid came back on for us. And I'm feeling uh, pretty bad for those folks right now that got hit by any of those hurricanes all the way up to Tennessee, apparently. Uh, if you are in need for an answer and you're like, you know, I'd like to have some electrical power at the house or, you know, the RV or camp, whatever it is, you know, whatever's left standing that you can still be, you know, that you could be living in. A couple of things here I thought about was, uh, first off, obviously, you're going to have to, or you're going to want to be able to get a system like this so you can have electrical power at these locations. And it's, it's you know, a generator is one thing, but uh, if you can get a hold of a small generator, it's really good. I'm, I'm going to say that a small 2,000 watt or something like that generator to go with a system like this is going to give you power overnight and during the day, and you're going to have electrical power and hopefully enough power to get through for a long time until the grid and you know things get cleaned up so what are we going to start with well the first recommendation i'm going to make is the s2000 right here from all powers yeah we have i have 12 or more uh generators solar generators like this uh here at the shop right now even but this one stands out a little bit and i'll tell you the very first thing it does is it has up to 2000 watts yeah up to a 4000 watt surge so it will run some pretty hefty things if you really need to. And that was the first thing that attracted me to this particular model. The other thing is, is the price compared to other ones that are out there on the market, of course. And there's one other thing here, and that's, um, that's the big one. I tried to put some, you know, something a, a priority on this before. And a lot of people, you know, they may or may not get it, but a lot of these uh, packages that I have in here will only allow, say, 200 watts to come in to recharge, which takes all day, maybe two days, three days, whatever, to recharge. Not acceptable. And uh, some of them, I have a really big one here right now that is sitting off camera that uh, will allow a maximum of only 400 watts of charge to come in. And again, it throttles back when the charge comes in, so it's like you really cannot feed it uh, decent off a set of you know portable solar panels. So this one here allows 500 watts. In fact, it will go above 500 watts. In fact, I have pushed this up over 600 watts. <laughs> yeah, and it has worked, you know, and recharged quickly and been able to keep the load going at the same time. Uh, the thing is, you want the refrigerator going, obviously, maybe a, a box fan or something to help cool you at the time, possible television for entertainment for the family, <laughs> some internet if you uh, have a modem or uh, maybe a Starlink or something like that, you know, you can power that up sort of thing off a system like this. 
and uh, well, what other other you know needs you might have at that point. So this is a great uh, option, or and it seems to have the right features. You know, you could spend a lot more than this and buy an elaborate system. Yes, you can, or less than this, but I think you're going to find yourself, you know, in some problems. So let me explain. First of all, the biggest thing to me for these pan uh, is, is two things: how much power are you going to get out of here, you know, and how much power can you bring in. That's really, you know, uh, that's 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 the big deal, and also. Uh, storage is something else. Storage is going to be a problem with any of these units because even this one here uh, is 1500 watt hours, which means at 1500 watts over an hour, this thing's going to be drained out dry. If, if nothing's coming in, you know, if there's no charge coming in from, say, solar, you know, that's not that great. So in the daytime, sun comes up, you want to put some panels out. Now, uh, All Powers has some nice, efficient panels. And again, the reason I'm uh, pushing towards this is this stuff is available through Amazon. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, maybe your home, you can't get delivery there, obviously. But you could, like a brother-in-law, a friend, something like that, and maybe even Mark tell Amazon, oh, it's a gift, you know, and you're sending it over to, you know, Fred someplace out of the hurricane zone and having it drop there, go there with the car, truck, whatever, pick it up, bring it to the, to the home, and set it up. And this is, is, I'm trying to minimal, you know, a minimal uh, system. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm not going elaborate because, uh, I'm, you know, affordability is one thing. And then hopefully you're not paying $400 a night to stay in a hotel right now someplace because, yeah, that'll add up in a hurry. Uh, so this, I think, is a, a, a cost-effective system, but at the same time it'll allow you to function and have, you know, a certain amount of comfort until the power grid comes back. So... With all that said, yeah, blah, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this system here, up, like I said, 2,000 watts, which allows you to run some pretty hefty stuff if you need it for, you know, in a pinch for a little bit. Uh, the other thing that you're going to need, and I'm going to recommend a 600 watt kit from All Power to recharge this with. And this is going to give you all the power during the daytime, you know, with 600 watts coming in, whatever it is you've got going on here, like your refrigerator, that kind of thing plugged in. You're going to have power all day long. In the evening, you're gonna, yes, you are going to run into a problem. And that's where like a small 2000 watt gas generator or something like that would come in handy. You could uh, say, charge this back up with a generator, shut it back off so you're not using gas and continue to use this and draw it back down again. When it gets low, charge it again with the uh, little gas generator. This will extend the amount of gas that you have on hand for a long period of time, especially those, some of these 2000 watt generators are very efficient and uh, I'm not going to, say uh, recommend one. I did have a number of them recommended to me by viewers uh, way back when we first discussed you know hurricanes and surviving on solar but the uh, idea was that you could run the generator temporarily long enough to say charge one of these up and uh, you could charge this up in say an hour, hour and a half, something like that fully and go back to using it again, shut the generator off so you're not burning gasoline, you don't have the noise and all the rest of it. And also, of course, do this outside where the generator will be safe because it, you know, that carbon is not good for you. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so the other thing that people don't understand is what happens here. So I'm just going to show this to you for people that are not familiar with this type of system. This is your, this is everything. This is your whole solar package right here. Now, the other thing you're going to need is the panels. And this is just, this is from All Power, as a matter of fact. But this is not the system I'm going to recommend for, say, a setup like this at all. In fact, this is a system that I would not recommend at all because it's just too small. This is 100 watt. It's, you know, it would take a long time for this to, say, charge that up, even on a nice sunny day. But here's a solar panel. It's a foldable package. Uh, just imagine that's a 600 watt or something. You can throw that, lay it down out in the driveway, and you're going to have these cables, these MC4 cables, and you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to come into a a situation where you're going to end up with an XT60, which is this little yellow plug right here, and that's going to plug into this right here, and that's going to create charge in here. If you have like 600 watts and you're drawing less than 600 watts, that's great because that will keep this thing fully charged and allow you to run the small appliances and things that you need. Uh, and also, I guess you could make coffee, <laughs> yeah, a coffee machine. Whoa, yeah. yeah. But you could run your TV and uh, communications, you could run you know, different things all day long 
and you'd have your solar panels out there, you know, someplace in the driveway. Now, if you really want to elaborate this, you know, just tweak the system up a little bit more, I would recommend getting some uh, of these MC4 cables by an extension cable set as well. That would help you to put the panels where you want, put this near the home where you need it, and of course, then run an extension cord and to like, a, oh, you know, a, a, a one of those power bus bars where you can plug six things in or something, and that way you can have everything plugged in that you need to use at that point. Just trying to, you know, be comfortable while all this, you know, while you wait the rest of it out. And this allows you time to go ahead and start cleaning up the, the mess and, you know, and just getting on with your life sort of thing. Uh, so I'm going to put a vital link where you can find this and a I think it's a 400 watt package, I believe, with this, but I'll, I'll see what I can find for links because uh, you can buy this separately. I've seen it on sale recently, but you can also buy the 400 watt or the 600 watt. Either one would be okay. I would really lean towards the 600 if you can afford it and if you think you can get it because the 600 is going to charge this thing back up faster and it's going to allow you just that much more, more power that you could have off of this to help run things. It's just that, you know, it's just one equals the other. And uh, also, hopefully, you have a uh, or can get a hold of a small 2,000 watt generator. Uh, Honda, uh, just off the top of my head, makes one. There's some really good small, really small 2,000 watters out there these days, and they're really, really good on gas. So that means you could probably carry, say, five gallons of gas, maybe 10 gallons of gas with you back with the generator and a setup like this, and you're going to have electrical power, all the electrical power. Hopefully, you're going to need for a while. No, you won't be able to run the uh, central AC off of this. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but you'll be able to run. Well, what we did was we just ran a box fan uh, for cooling while we were watching uh, television, uh, w working on the internet. Uh, in fact, at one point I had to even plug in a printer to fill some orders that I had come in from my 3D printing farm and stuff. So I was like, you know, we were able to scrape by for the three and a half days. In fact, uh, because of the situation with the solar, we were able to just keep right on going. We could have stayed on solar for weeks if, if we had to, you know. And this is why, uh, this morning while I was thinking about this, I thought, you know, what we need to do is put together a minimum package that would allow somebody to easily hook something like this up and have the power. Now, this is only one part of the program, of course. I highly recommend you, you know, you've got to buy some uh, solar panels. And in this case, these are... Uh, full, foldable, they're they're portable. Uh, at night, fold them up, take them back in the house, lock them up in the shed or the garage, whatever, or just bring them in the house until the next morning. Put them back out. Try to get a good angle to the sun and start charging the system back up. Absolutely, you know it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a full time job for a while until the power grid comes back. But uh, you know you can you can get by and very comfortable. And you don't have to have all the noise of a generator, you know, running night and day or something to keep you going. So this is a good system, and this is what I'm going to recommend, just, you know, offhand. Uh, if I had the money, yeah, there's some, you know, really big systems out there that you could buy into, but they are just what I just said. They're a lot of money. I'm trying to minimize the, uh, the, the wallet damage <laughs> here, so, you know, make it a reasonably affordable for someone if they really need the power. And, and I'm sure everybody would like to have electricity back on again. So, you know, yeah, you know, this is a way to do it. Uh, now, we have a draw, so we're gonna flip over to that. Oh man, it's Friday. Uh, it took me all day yesterday. I did research on those generators, solar generators and the solar panels and uh, looking for pricing, looking for features and studying that whole situation. And it, like I said, it, it just varies by so much, but I had was trying to do my best to put together a you know a package that I could recommend or something and say, well, this would, you know, get you down the road kind of thing. Now uh, we got to draw for the P1P tool. Uh, oddly enough, too, there's a lot of Florida and a lot of Tennessee addresses there. It's like, oh God, yeah. <laughs> Some of these people, they're in those zones. Yeah. So anyway, we had a lot of entries, so that's good. Uh, I got the uh, made up the tickets from all the emails. We've got another draw coming up. Uh, I guess next week we'll present that one next week. I've got something fairly it's substantially big to give away I guess next week. But, uh, let's get this out of here. <laughs> it's been here way too long. This is the P1P charge chargeable rotary from Depth Tech and it's a it's a very nice tool. Uh, and this is brand new from uh, Depth Tech. So 
I don't think it's even been, I don't think I even, yeah, we didn't even use it or touch it really. It's, it's going to be in whatever it's in. So let's find out and see who's, grab a ticket. Wow, there are so many this week. It's really cool. Lots of entries, which is, like I said, that's a good thing. It gives me a little feeling of support at least. And, uh, oh man, up in Beggs, Oklahoma, huh? Alan, huh, huh, thank you, I've seen your name before. But Alan, uh, we're gonna send you the P1P. Alan, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for watching, or at least putting your name in for a tool, Alan. Okay, great, okay. And thank everybody for entering again, because it just, Gives you a little feel of support. You see some, you know, lots of lists of pages of names and addresses like, yes, you know, people are putting in for it, so good. Uh, next week, got something like, say, fairly large. It's gonna be kind of expensive to ship, but uh, we'll be giving it away on the show. It's from uh, Vivor, as a matter of fact, my favorite little tool company that has a lot of interesting, uh, has a heck of a catalog online for tools. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools, and please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and. Uh, I'm out of here. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs>